Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to part two. I hope you guys enjoyed that epic transition. I thought it was pretty epic myself, but here we go. We are on wave nine. We have a juggernaut and about 10 guys chilling in that little, that armory down there. And that juggernaut is on my tail. He is, he is coming in hot, shooting me with his little M60, except that's not really a little gun, is it? That's kind of a big gun. Um, I'm basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take out the, the regular, oh my god, the juggernaut's still there. I thought he would have turned around. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to take out the normal guys before I take out the Juggernaut. As I'm following the Juggernaut on the radar, he's the red dot right inside the dome. He's coming up to me right now. Actually, no, he's not. He's circling around still. That's good. That's good. We need him to circle around. So the Juggernaut is the only one left. He's in the dome, and I really need to be strategic about this, guys. This is where I could make or break my, uh, my time in survival mode with the Juggernauts. I'm going to buy an extra set of body armor. And I'm just going to flank around until I can get a good position on him and I can stun him. I'm going to wait right here just so I can do some kind of flanking a little bit um, with the Juggernaut. So here we go, guys. I'm about to throw the stun. Oh, that's not a stun grenade. This is a stun grenade. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Taking out the C4, just get a little bit of additional support from my C4 epic power edge. And here we go. 360 the juggernaut here we go what's he doing he has no idea what's about to hit him he doesn't know what's going at him oh i just failed i, I failed spawning around right there here we go guys here we go knife only with the c4 in my hand juggernaut with the freaking oh my god i don't know what i'm saying right now but this is pretty epic just took out a juggernaut on dome in the middle of the map for the win Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was pretty epic. Here we go. Wave 10 coming up. I'm going to buy some more body armor because I do have extra money that I'm not really spending it on. I'm actually going to purchase some more flashbangs just because I need flashbangs for the later juggernauts. And right now, I still have my MG36 custom. Haven't used it at all. And now, we are moving on to the rounds in which I need to use the C4 more and more and more often. Uh, as you can see... The first time I whipped out my pistol and tried to knife that guy, it was not a one-hit kill. I needed to take out my C4 to make it a one-hit kill because, I don't know, it seems like a glitch to me. It seems like something they didn't mean to put in the game because this really makes no sense whatsoever. There should be no reason why you can just, you know, take out a pack of C4 and just run around with it and get insta-kills. Like, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But, you know, you gotta exploit to your best abilities you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do to get to the higher rounds and this is one of those ways because you know one hit kill compared to a two hit kill what would you guys prefer you know i think i think all of you guys would prefer that that one hit kill but that being said we've got three enemies left and i'm a little bit bloody and we are moving on to wave 11 after this one because i'm a boss and i'm a triple achilles so here we go guys, wave 10 cleared, moving on to wave 11, and uh, <laughs> if you guys saw that epic transition between between rounds, or like wave 10, between part 1 and part 2, I thought that was amazing. That was, that was a great transition. You guys were probably hooked. You guys were probably waiting for this part 2, like nothing before. <laughs> if you guys like that intro, drop this video a thumbs up, because I, I was very proud of myself when I did that transition. I thought it was great. But uh, yeah, if you guys are just tuning into part two and you haven't seen part one, please look at the annotation at the beginning or end of this video. Just to link back to part one, just watch the beginning and watch the uh, the origins of this this awesome gameplay that you're watching right now. So if you guys are enjoying part two and you liked part one, or if you haven't seen part one and you like part two any way or the other way, Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, it really means a lot hearing your feedback. And I just failed at knifing all those times. So I'm running. I'm running. I'm jumping. I'm a black man in a white man's body. But that's mean because... Actually, I can run really fast. I don't do track, but like... <laughs> that, was, that was a really mean racist joke. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To all of you guys who I offended right there, I'm sorry. But, um... But yeah, I feel like a ninja. You can just like jump around, just run, jump, run, jump, run, jump, repeat, repeat, and repeat without getting exhilarated at all. You can have your full ability with this pack of C4. Holy crap, we have two juggernauts coming in. I need body armor, and I need 
some kind of help. We have full ground support and two juggernauts coming in, guys. This is ridiculous. I don't know if I'll survive this round. This is crazy. Um, the two juggernauts are coming in from my side. Uh, I'm really taking on heat right now. I need to get away from everything because, you know, these two juggernauts are on my tail. And I need, I need to... I need to strategize, and I need to conquer. If this is a juggernaut, okay, I need to, I need to take a couple of guys out before the juggernaut comes around, and I need to not get dropped into second chance. Oh, whew. <laughs> okay, we got juggernauts coming in from the back, and uh, just making sure this is a jug. I know it's a jug, actually. What's he doing? What's he doing? Okay, okay, so we got regular guys and juggernauts following me. And I'm I'm trying to just lure in the regular guys before the uh, the juggernauts come around. I'm trying to take the as little damage as I can before these juggernauts hit me. Um, just trying to weave in and out of things, take some cover, and you know, in the end, take out the regular guys before the juggernauts. Trust me, guys, it will it will make or break your gameplay with with knife only. And as you can see now, I have two juggernauts, and this is gonna be ridiculous. I have no idea what I'm going to do, guys, because as you saw in the first the first part of this, I took out one Juggernaut with knife only, but I don't know how the heck I'm going to take out two. So, so here we go. Here's my attempt at it, guys. Here's my attempt at knife only on Juggernauts. Actually, you know what? Screw that. That Riot Shield guy's going to hit me like crazy. I'm not doing that. Guys, I'm going to do a little bit of cheating right here. Um, I'm going to use my resources... That, that allow me to, oh god, wrong place, I gotta get my airstrike, airstrike coming inbound, I'm, I'm gonna drop a predator missile guys, I don't know if you're okay with this, but since it's not really like using a weapon, it's kind of just air support, uh, I hope you guys are alright with me using the predator missile on these guys, because you know, I seriously to be honest with you guys, I cannot take out two juggernauts with knife only, it'll be ridiculously close, but Ah, the key word there was close. I really want to try it. I really... Oh my god, here we go, here we go. I really want to attempt this. Okay, so, you know what? Screw that. We're going to go knife only on these guys. Even though I bought this Predator Missile. Screw my instincts. I'm going to go knife only. And it's going to be a good time because it'll entertain you guys fully. And I'm sure you guys will like it. So please, I'm doing this for you guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because this is freaking epic. Trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. I will take out both of these juggernauts. Just stay tuned. It's going to take a little bit longer than usual. And I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from with this taking a little bit longer than usual kind of stuff. Because juggernauts are not easy to take out, especially with knife only. If you... If you guys have taken out two juggernauts before with knife only, please comment below because I really want to hear your stories and what round you guys have made it to with knife only. And it's it's hard to do. It is an accomplishment to take out two juggernauts knife only. And <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to use my predator missile because I'm so, so um, just willing just to whip out my predator missile and just use it right here, right now on these juggernauts. But... I'm not going to do that because I'm sticking to my word, knife only, but 